to another developing story. Two cold cases solved. One involved the 2006 murder of 68-year-old Mary Hudson. Today, News Channel 5's Stephanie Ramirez spoke to Hudson's daughter. And Steph, when did her family find out that this case, uh, case was finally closed? Actually, uh, Chris, as I was talking to Mary Hudson's daughter, she had told me she just recently found out. Today, actually, possibly moments before we got the news ourselves. So you can only imagine both the shock and relief her and her siblings are feeling after finally hearing from police the person responsible for their mother's death has been found. Wow, I can't believe it, but I'm glad that they did. After six long years, Kathy DeJarnay finally has closure. Today, the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office announced the indictment of 63-year-old Jerome Wade, a man East Cleveland detectives say is responsible for the violent death of Kathy's mother back in 2006. You know, I think about her. I think about my husband the year before, and I'm like, wow. What is this? DeJarnay says her mother was her rock as she coped with her husband's death. But then about a year later, on September 6, 2006, 68-year-old Mary Hudson was murdered. Authorities found Hudson strangled and tied in her own home with the residence ransacked and items like a music system missing. Three years after the crime, the cold case unit reopened the case, checking to see if Hudson had been one of Anthony Sowell's victims until a CODIS hit was made. Mr. Wade was uh, linked to the crime uh, through forensics. Commander Michael Cardilli says Hudson's DNA had remained in their system as evidence for quite some time, but an arrest that put Jerome Wade's DNA in the system as well allowed detectives to make a positive match to the crime scene and to Wade. It's just nice to be able to solve something like this and bring closure to the family. I'm glad that they did, you know, because you should pay for what you've done. Now, Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office indicted Jerome Wade on seven counts, including aggravated murder and robbery. He is scheduled for an arraignment tomorrow. 49-year-old Eric Register had been indicted on the death of Armand Earl back in 1989 and faces a six-count indictment that includes aggravated murder and burglary. He is scheduled to be arraigned on December 11th. Both East Cleveland detectives are very proud of the outcome of this investigation. On your side, Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.